Good afternoon. My name is Reinhard Schumacher. I have the pleasure to welcome you to the first series of 24 hours contemporary collecting talks this year here at the Vienna Contemporary. Uh, the series is now in its third year and it's uh, normally concentrating on uh, private collectors, private initiatives that go maybe a little bit beyond just uh, collecting art. I think uh, for all of the talks I have invited guests that uh, also take the responsibility of uh, owning contemporary art, acquiring contemporary art, uh, a little bit further on into also something that is uh, to, the, to the public, to the community in general addressed. Uh, it is my pleasure to welcome here um, Ovidio Shandor from uh, Timisoara. He is one of these uh, really extraordinary private collectors and um, today it's also a little bit different because uh, somehow uh, with him uh, came up the idea half a year ago, uh, not half a year ago, uh, by the end of last year, uh, to do some exhibition project in Timisoara. And um, so we came together with my colleague Natalie Hoyos, she's also here, on the panel, uh, then to the point of uh, doing a project together with Ovidio Shandor. We will talk about this project uh, a little bit later in, in general and give you an idea about the Timisoara art encounters. But uh, first I want to concentrate, and it's also the series that will take place this year, um, like the next talk will be on Bulgaria and there will be another talk on Sunday on Ukraine, um, to focus a little bit on the countries that are also somehow in the focus of this art fair and uh, to consider a little bit the situation for artists, for contemporary art, for contemporary culture in this country because that's also the background, uh, I think, for the activities that we are doing. Uh, Natalie Hoyos, she was uh, traveling in the last uh, two years quite often to Timisoara and to Romania in general. Uh, I, I would like to ask you what is your impression of uh, Romania, of the situation for contemporary artists there? Uh, we had the chance to go there quite often in the last years already, also due to other projects we had there. And in general, you have to say that it shares a little bit the situation of many other countries uh, of Eastern Europe, which is that there's a lack of institutions that work on a regular basis and they are, that are financially also um, so well off that they can make collections and exhibitions on a regular basis. So in the end you realize that you have some galleries working a lot and trying to establish a scene. You realize that you have artists that are um, often working in other jobs also at the university. Uh, production conditions are very difficult. Um, and the, the whole scene very much relies on private engagement in the end. You have, of course, in, in, in Romania, you have basically two centers now where art is happening. One is Cluj, and the other center is Bucharest. Um, I think in Timisoara, you had a very vivid art scene in the 70s, and then also in the 90s, you had some very important festivals taking place, but somehow in the last, 10 years maybe there was not so much happening anymore. So I actually think that when Ovidio came up with the idea to do something there, we were all very surprised that there was a certain dynamic that developed out of an idea that was beforehand a small project. 
And uh, maybe if I come to you, Ovidio, um, let's start from the beginning. How came your love or desire or obsession even with art, with contemporary art? Um, yes, hopefully it's not an obsession yet, but uh, let's call it still passion. Um, I, I guess it's uh, not a trajectory different from other uh, collectors. I, I've been collecting other things uh, already for a longer time and then I came closer to art and quite fast I arrived to contemporary art where in a way I, I felt that's... Um, what, what makes me, what, what is most interesting for, for myself. Um, and uh, yes, in the last uh, quite a number of years, I've been more and more involved. And in a way, I think I got involved also beyond the normal, maybe visiting exhibitions and buying art and so forth. I, I think I got drawn into it exactly because there's so much that doesn't exist, so much that doesn't happen in a, in a country like Romania, and there's so much that needs to be done or could be done. Um, so slowly I've gotten involved also outside the, the normal area of the, the collecting itself and, and got involved in various projects, uh, initially smaller ones, and this one together with you turned out to be uh, quite a major um, project, but yes, uh, art is uh, uh, is charming and uh, uh, sucks you in if you're not very careful. And apparently, I haven't been too careful. And um, as far as I uh, know, the, uh, the main part of your collection is Romanian art. Yes, my major focus is uh, Romanian contemporary art. While the definition of what is Romanian in this sort of international world is all obviously something not necessarily clearly defined, but it is artists that are living and creating in Romania. It is artists that are born in Romania, and, but maybe in the meantime living for quite a long while abroad, uh, or artists that somehow have a connection to Romania or Romanian culture uh, in one way or another. Maybe uh, we can also start uh, the little presentation that you uh, just get an idea uh, of what we are trying to do there in uh, Timisoara. Um, if uh, I, I come back uh, to the point of the situation in, in Romania, because um, maybe also you could describe what, how the situation in Romania uh, has developed over the last year. Um, I would say that uh, there, uh, Romania, probably like other countries in the region, are going through a very interesting um, transformation. I think it's a sort of growing process. I think 10 years ago we hardly could speak about the contemporary art scene in Romania almost at all. I think there have been um, uh, quite a lot of things happening in the last 10 years and here again it is true that it has been rather the private component that has been pushing things galleries uh, artists collectors who have slowly succeeded to connect to the international uh, contemporary art world uh, through fairs through biennials through various other types of uh, events and so forth. Uh, while uh, unfortunately uh, for, for a state like Romania, culture uh, is rather low on the priority list, so there's uh, uh, quite little happening unfortunately in the, in, the, um, in the public institutions or um, everything else that has to do with the uh, public area. Even there, small things happen, but too slow and too small, I would say. Um, and uh, of course, uh, uh, I do think it, it, it is a growing process where uh, maybe you could call that Romania is now in, uh, as an art scene in its infancy, or maybe we're trying to become teenagers, I don't know. Um, but uh, there's obviously a lot that still needs to be built, a lot that still needs to be done. But we see more and more galleries, we see uh, more and more artists that are visible. I, I don't necessarily think there are more artists that are creating art. I think there's more and more artists that are visible. 
I think we have slowly more and more collectors or people interested in contemporary art. Um, and I also think that Romania has become attractive uh, for the international public, like probably the whole Eastern Europe, uh, where after quite a long period after the, the um, events in 89, uh, the Western world has slowly discovered that this part of the world has had interesting art beyond the official art during communism. There is a young generation that has an a coherent voice. Uh, there are things happening that in a way or another contribute to the maybe international art scene. Uh, and I think there's still uh, a lot that needs to be done. Just, um, I also think that Romania is quite visible in an international context. I mean, even last year you had this um, the, the, the spot on Romania as a country. You have lots of galleries that are also present here. And um, there are also some exhibitions taking place internationally that focus on Romanian art. Like I think there was something last year or two years ago in Budapest. Now there's something at the MAC. So in a way, it is internationally realized that there, the art scene is very vivid and very interesting there. Um, I think also that uh, somehow the country is not uh, a country at the beginning anymore. There's already uh, some, uh, some very uh, lively scene, and as you also see here uh, at the Vienna Fair, there are quite many galleries uh, from Romania and presenting uh, art. Um, I have uh, one question that just came to my mind very spontaneously, uh, because um, how often you, you can see uh, let's say, like uh, international art in Romania? Uh, that I would say is quite seldom, um, or you see it, um, uh, even if it's international uh, um, art, um, it, it would rather be not necessarily contemporary art. So I think there are very few events that try to bring in Romania um, r major um, international artists or major international uh, exhibitions and and that has to do obviously with the lack of or, or the very limited type of resources the very limited uh, type of experience i would also include here uh, the small number of institutions that have a, a clear program related to contemporary art uh, but yes it's it's uh, normally very little and it's rather in the very specialized maybe uh, press or uh, the the online uh, contemporary art media where where people can can get information and it is obviously more and more than that artists and people interested in art in Romania need to travel uh, if they want to see what happens if they want to see m major exhibitions and so forth so it's something that is still not happening in Romania um, and, and I do think that it will still be quite a long uh, way to go before we have uh, a, a very uh, active uh, um, presence of foreign artists in uh, Romania. And uh, how you would describe the interest of the general public? Are they open to contemporary art? <laughs> well, as long as it's something that can make the headline for a TV channel, of course it uh, becomes extremely public suddenly. Um, and unfortunately, I think there's uh, um, um, a lack of encouragement of ed or education for kids or young people to, uh, to come closer to museums, come closer to art or galleries and exhibitions. We are trying during our event to have a, a very active education program where we plan to bring um, uh, classes uh, uh, of kids to to specialize the uh, guided tours to our exhibitions is exactly in order to build up an audience for, for this sort of art. Um, you do have, of course, the people interested in art and inter interested in culture, but I would say that it's not something that is part of the normal uh, lifestyle or anyway, not to the degree that it, it is part of the lifestyle in Vienna, for example, or in other uh, major cities. Though there have been a couple of occasions where people have been queuing to visit uh, contemporary art exhibitions in, uh, uh, in Bucharest, for example, in the last couple of years, 
Um, so it, it is also a process of the audience growing as you have more and more galleries, more and more events. Um, and um, um, as long as the art becomes more and more uh, visible. So maybe we uh, focus on uh, the art encounters itself. Uh, they will open up uh, already on uh, the coming uh, weekend, on uh, 2nd and 3rd of October and also the 4th of October. Um, what, what we will see there? Nothing. <laughs> no, um, we will see. The focus is on Romanian art. Um, and I think it is a good chance to see, to get a deep insight on what is happening in Romania. Of course, we don't claim to do a, a, a complete survey. It's just an... It's just a, an, an insight that we, we had the chance to look at since the last three or four years. And we were more being like, doing like archaeologists. So we were collecting material and trying to put things together that maybe were not, have not been seen like this so far. And um, I think the nice thing is it's concentrating on the last 15 years, but we also have some historical backslashes as a point of reference. And um, we also, we tried to include a lot of the Romanian art scene. So there were, will also be galleries presenting things. And we also have the Salon Nul de Projecte, who's doing an exhibition. The Salon Nul de Projecte is an exhibition space of the MNAC in Bucharest, who's very active in contemporary art since the last five, six, seven years. Um, we have young curators who do curate other um, exhibitions. So we try also to include uh, a Romanian view into this 15, 16, 17 exhibitions that will take place in Timisoara. Yeah, you see, uh, at the moment, you see the map uh, from the city with uh, the main exhibition uh, spaces. Maybe, Ovidio, can you tell us to some of the spaces something? Uh, yes, uh, I think what's very nice with this event, which in a sense uh, is based on a Biennale format, but I think what is maybe a bit different from other Biennales is the fact that it integrates the art of that country mainly. So the focus is really on the local art scene and I think it's also an event that very nicely integrated with the city itself because uh, besides using spaces that are normally used for art like the art museum and gallery spaces and so forth we also took the liberty to invade uh, unused the industrial spaces unused military buildings from the 19th century and so forth and the open them transform them into art spaces and open them up to to a more um, uh, to, to the general public and to the city itself in a way, um, and um, most location locations being in the center, they're on a um, on a path that that you can do by walking. So in a in a sense, the whole city is becoming a, a, a big exhibition space, and I think that's really nice because the the whole event and the art is really. Uh, visible and really connected to the city, um, uh, which is maybe not the case in other uh, in other places or in other events. Um, I, I think the the two curators have done a very interesting selection, bridging different things, bridging the uh, generations of the 70s, which now are being rediscovered, with the generations of today, which are already active and visible bridging the Romanian artists that are creating in Cluj and in Bucharest and in Yash and in Sibiu and in Timisoara with the artists that are living and creating in Berlin and in Rome and in other places in the world. Um, also actually bridging Timisoara and the neighboring city of Arad in uh, one of the, uh, probably the biggest cultural event that the two cities do together but also bridging Romanian art with a, a number of international artists that in their, uh, who in, uh, in their work refer to Romanian artists or uh, uh, the Romanian space 
in a way or in, in another. So I think very much this um, uh, event is under the, the sign of these bridges and of this dialogue. Uh, and the various exhibitions are very different through the space in which they take place, through the content that they have. And actually they show the different sides uh, of the art that Romania can, uh, uh, can offer. Um, as far I, I know, but I want uh, to play this middle role of being the host and uh, also having some guests here, some very nice guests. So, um, do we see also some performances or some uh, works, or what kind of works we will see? <laughs> we will see a lot of performances um, that will take place over the whole time. Uh, for instance, for example, there will be Mate Bejenaro, who is um, who, who has com working with a composer from Timisoara, and with a choir. And in the choir, there will be prisoners from Timisoara. For instance, we will have a performance of Anka Montean Monteano Rosenblum. Uh, no, not Montean <laughs> Monteano Rimnic. Then we will have um, a performance by Bureau of Melodramatic Research, and. Um, this is also related somehow to a tradition that is very uh, relevant in Romania. You have a big performance tradition that was in the beginning after the, the communism fell. It was due to, to, to uh, also that, that the body was the cheapest material you could use. So there was lots of performance. So we will have performance, yes, but we will also show um, quite a number of works that are produced for the exhibition. Um, and we also had an artist in residence program. And um, so, yeah, you will see a lot of new things. Uh, if you have seen the, the image showing uh, one of the main places in town, uh, and and uh, there, there was in the beginning when we came um, in, in uh, late November for the first time, it was like a huge piece of land art because somehow the whole inner city is uh, changed and the whole pedestrian walkways are done uh, newly. It's still part of it there, so you still get some of the charm of this kind of uh, immense kind of uh, huge... Uh, a land art piece it was for us. Uh, the city is somehow like, like a circle, the central city is somehow like a circle, uh, so all this kind of location you can quite easy uh, reach and you can walk around and you get also this kind of experience of, uh, uh, somehow it's also like a Habsburgian city with some uh, hidden Turkish elements and also, you, you see some of the past of the city. So it's both, it's an experience of a city of 300,000 people with also a lot of influence from the communist time and then also the, uh, the situation uh, with uh, contemporary art uh, in, these, in these spaces. In a way, um, I think we uh, have also spread out to the neighboring city um, Arat, um, can you tell us something about Arat? Yeah, Arat, it, it's a very interesting case because in Arat they are thinking about building a new Kunsthalle or center for culture. And um, so I think when the Timisoara art encounter started, they somehow were heard of the project or they got in touch with uh, Ovidio and with us. And in a way, they wanted to participate, and I think also to take the occasion of these art encounters to make a first step to discuss what is the meaning of a cultural center, um, what does it need, how can you do it in a way that also the, the surroundings are, are included. Um, so, now there will be an exhibition taking place there also on the first weekend. And then we have a series of talk taking place on the 23rd of October, where people who have a lot of experience with art spaces and, and will, will talk about their experience so that one can avoid building up an institution that flies like... Uh, 
I don't know, uh, an, an UFO, and that has nothing to do with the, with, the, with the city or with the surroundings of the city. So I think, in a way, in Arat it is another story, but I think it is a very good occasion to start this process of building up a cultural center. I think in the past uh, there have been maybe three uh, or two exhibitions or research on the contemporary Romanian art. One was from the Soros Center uh, with a very good uh, catalog done, but somehow the Soros Center closed in the 90s somehow. And uh, then there was an exhibition, uh, Romanian uh, cultural, cultural resolution. resolution. Um, and as it seems, it's uh, now also the, the first time to get an overview of Romanian art. Well, I guess it's hard to say that in Vienna when the MAC has uh, an exhibition on Romania at the moment. Uh, but yes, it's, um, it's one of the uh, few occasions where uh, I think um, the organizers went to, to the extent of trying to to bring together so many artists, so many generations, so many, many types of art, because uh, it's not only performance, it's video art, it's photography, it's painting, it's installations, it's drawings, it's um, really uh, the whole spectrum of, um, uh, of media and of ways to, to approach art. So yes, I think um, while we initially were, were planning a not so ambitious maybe exhibition, uh, somehow we came to the conclusion that there's a certain need to have this event that will both for the city uh, uh, re sort of shake things and reposition Timisoara as one of the places that, that wants to become again relevant in terms of contemporary art. I think it, it, it is becoming the place where the national art scene has the chance to come together through the art itself in the exhibition, through the conversations, through the workshops that are going to take place and so forth. Um, and hopefully it will be an event that is relevant also for a certain type of international public that is curious about what is happening in Eastern Europe, what is happening in Romania, and wants to find in one single concentrated place as much as possible about, uh, about the art of this country. Um, I think in the end it's going to be a big puzzle that allows different images and this is quite a nice thing. So, you have all to book your flights or your travel arrangements and come uh, at the next week and to Timisoara or during uh, the coming uh, four or five weeks uh, when the exhibition is running, also during the running time of the exhibitions uh, our workshops and our different activities. Um, I think uh, we, we can open the floor to some questions. If someone wants to address a question, there's a microphone. Um, we talked now a lot about the art scene in Romania. Um, to what, uh, what impact does diaspora have? Until today, there's a long tradition of um, um, this diaspora also within the Romanian art scene uh, ever since the avant-garde? I didn't, I didn't get the question. You know, uh, with diaspora, I mean uh, Romanian artists uh, living outside Romania. Um, I'm interested in a sort of exchange and how you evaluated in uh, processes that are taking place in um, Romania itself? Um, I think there are two answers to this question. In a way, um, probably if you want to succeed internationally as a Romanian artist, it is helpful if you start a career outside of the country. On the other hand side, there are lots of Romanian artists living abroad and they do careers and then they also support the, the, the art scene in their country. So that is maybe the, 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 the 
the answer, I would say. I think there's a, a tremendous kind of solidarity by uh, artists let's say, who, who went to Paris or, or Berlin or somewhere else and uh, uh, somehow had the luck to, to find uh, powerful galleries supporting their work. Um, I think most of them are also, they have not left the country, uh, but they're still trying to do something for the country. So I think this, uh, uh, even if artists are competitive and have to be competitive, uh, somehow, um, we felt that uh, there, there is this kind of uh, a solidarity that would be difficult, I think, to find in, in countries also maybe where the art market is uh, much stronger and uh, where you are maybe even obliged to, to show your elbows at any point. So, uh, if there are no, no questions anymore, I think uh, we have, I hope, we have given you an insight into uh, the Romanian uh, art scene, what will happening there uh, in the coming week. Uh, go to the galleries here and enjoy also in the galleries uh, the art. You can also talk with the galleries mostly. They know very well what they are showing. And um, then I hope that um, I can also welcome some of you on uh, the next talk uh, that will take place uh, tomorrow and it uh, will be focused on uh, Bulgaria and uh, the situation in Bulgaria, which is, uh, I think, even much more difficult than the one in Romania. Thank you very much.